Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, here we'll be working here on a Ford Edge guys. And we'll show you guys if your armrest lid, okay, let me show you. Okay, this lid right here guys. Uh, if it doesn't close, okay, if it doesn't stay close or if it doesn't open, what do you need to do guys uh, to fix that? Now, this is what I'm talking about. Check out how our, okay, is messed up. So there is a way to fix that and we'll explain that in a second guys. We we'll guys have more than 200 videos on Ford Edge on our channel, so please guys check the channel out. Our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment below. Let us know if the video was helpful. So now guys, let me explain to you. This is the armrest right here. Okay, we need to go ahead, open it. And you can see you have two, okay, two screws that we will need to remove, okay, with the Torx. 20 Torx 20 start looking bit all the tools and parts guys that we use will be listed in the description of the video below guys for your convenience So please check it out one screw is out now the second one coming out If you want to see any specific video on a Ford Edge Okay, or how to fix something on a car. Let us know guys as you can see we're constantly adding videos Okay, so we're moving guys, okay, we're moving our piece now and you can see guys right here, okay, that's what's broken, you can see that hinge there that's holding everything together. Okay, and okay, if your lock is broken guys, you can replace it, you can see super simple, right, but in our case, okay, right here it's broken, okay, that's what's holding it together there and as a result guys, uh, there is no way to fix that except, okay, to replace the whole armrest lid cover here. So, again, we have to remove three screws on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to hold it for the last one. Perfect. Okay, and this is it, guys. So, we'll get the replacement one and we're going to put it together now. Okay, right, guys, so we get a new lid now. Okay, and all we have to do now, we need to go ahead and install it, okay, I'm going to hold it here and we're going to install the three screws now. Okay, just get those tight. Now we need to install the other two and also we'll need to uh, install later our lock. The one that we removed earlier. Okay, perfect. So, this is what we need to do next. It's going to go here. Remember how the other one was broken? This one is not. So, that's why you guys have to gently close your lid, otherwise you guys are just asking for something to happen. You cannot just slam it every time you open that thing. People don't appreciate what they have guys and they just trash it sometimes. Sometimes it's accident, it happens of course. Okay, all we have to do. Install the two screws there. Okay, just one more now. Okay, let's see now what's going to happen when we close it. Okay, you can see it works perfectly fine. Opens and closes with no problem. Okay, you don't want to close it like that guys because that's how it breaks. You want to hold that thing and just close it like that softly because otherwise it's going to crack again in the future. So thank you for watching guys and see you guys next time. 